Cody Geck said, these events are pretty good for Brian Shaw. What would have been the five best events for you in your prime? Five best events for me would be a farmer's walk, a yoke, a squat, a Hercules hold, and maybe Axel for Max. Stephen Woodman asked, is there a biggest moaner you've competed with? Like somebody who is always unhappy with everything. A <laughs> biggest moaner? There's a few big moaners in Strongman. Um, not now. I've got to say, right, early Terry Hollands used to moan about everything. He is like a different man these days. I don't know if it's to do with, you know, meeting his, his new wife, Kate, or but he seems like a new, rejuvenized, happy man. But early on in his career, he was a miserable sod. Um, Hixie likes a moan. Hixie's one of those people that he's just happy, kind of, you know, moaning. Uh, that's, that's him in his happy place. Um, uh, there's There's been certain athletes. Nick Best can have a moan sometimes. He doesn't mind having a little moan. Um, Might be an age thing. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> we just get more grumpy as we get older, I guess. Although that doesn't apply to Mark. No. I've never heard him moan about anything. Well, Mark's just a gentleman, isn't he? He is. But, um, Mark's like, he's got a halo over his head. <laughs> But, you know, the guys are all cool guys. I think we all like a moan occasionally. But, um, yeah, ev everyone has a little moan now and again. But but those guys do. I, I can recall some conversations and, and moans from those boys. Maurice McMulkin asked, Hi, Lars. Do you think the final could be made into a 90 minutes or longer show? It always seems so rushed. I'd love it to be a longer show. I'd love, like I've said many times, get rid of the heats, have six shows all about you know, seeing seeing the best guys on each event, giving a little bit more airtime to certain athletes. When you look at World Strongest Man finals from the past, there's been events that people have won and they've had no TV time because they just were good at that one event. They tend to keep the final just about whoever's in contention for, for the title. So sure, I'd love to see a longer show or shows broken down, you know, so that we get more viewing time for, for each athlete or, or each event. What do you think of the return of Brian Shaw's legendary facial hair? He's going for the little chin 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 chin. Hopefully people stop thinking that that is Brian now. <laughs> I'm glad he's gone back to that. It looks good on him. Nicholas Timlin asked, apart from JF, who is the most underrated strongman of all time? Maybe me. <laughs> um, I think if you look at what I achieved, I, um, I, I, I've won a number of internationals, I've broken world records, I've made 11 World Strongest Man contests. I think I was quite often overlooked. Um, there's been, you know, there's been a lot of guys. I think um, Johannes Aho, he was a great strong man. Um, there's loads though. There's so many good guys that, that probably get a bit overlooked sometimes. Drew asked, why are the only pressing events standing and never something like a bench press? Um, good question. They have done seated uh, variations of presses before. I've done a couple of champions, uh, sorry, um, super series events uh, back in the day where we did a bench press. Um, they have sometimes done sort of an incline log press for reps. I remember myself and Terry Hollands doing a two man, um, like a bench press event, a two man team competition. That was a, an interesting event. But the majority of the time in Strongman, it tends to be man against the equipment, floor to overhead. Um, I guess it's, it, it looks cool when it's just you against the bar, I think. When there's other things involved, it takes away from that pureness. So I think the fact that it is just get that weight from the floor to overhead, it's, it's one of the most impressive forms of strength that there is. Rodolfo Garcia asks, what would be a better alternative than the last man standing in stones in your opinion? Just doing a normal event. <laughs> would be better <laughs> I, I i would rather just see a no I, I, i've said many times i'd rather they got rid of the groups and just had everyone going head to head even if it was whether it was 10 20 30 i don't care how many people you have in it but just get everyone going head to head because one of the issues with the groups um and you'll see it this week some groups you might get a guy you know have to win their group with 10 reps for instance on a deadlift another group might win with five and everyone else in the other group might have done you know eight reps but they're, they're still not going to get the same amount of points as the guy that got five in the other group the also also another factor with the groups is they have different events in the groups so that will heavily 
favour an athlete. And, you know, we're all good at different things. So when you've got one group that, say, has a squat, one group that has a deadlift, it's going to really fit. Like for myself, I was pretty good at, at both, but I was a much better squatter than I was a deadlifter. But you get some guys, they're amazing squatters, but terrible deadlifters and vice versa. You get certain lifters out there. I mean, you, you look at some of the like these bench press specialists. If there was a bench at World's Strongest Man, and say a viking press there's a big difference between those two events and you know you, you you can give people a massive advantage by which events you put in each group same with this year's events you've got the log and the dumbbell um in different groups so you get certain guys that are excellent dumbbell uh, excellent log lifters they're real strong powerful pressers but the dumbbell's a little bit more of a technical lift and sometimes the best log lifter isn't the best dumbbell presser and it, it you know it can really favor certain athletes if you get the right set of events so personally i'd like to see everyone doing the same set of events and that way it's more fair gabrielle Pitcherin said when it comes to performances at world strongest man alone so discounting anything they did outside of World's Strongest Man, who do you think is the strongest man in history based purely on their performances at Worlds? It's a tough one because there's very, there's there's many like um, different things that you might look at. So you, some people might say someone like Yuho Ahla, who only competed three times and won twice and was second once. You know, his record there for the amount of contests he did was unbelievable. Some people will say Marius Pujanovsky because he won, or he has won the most. I would probably still have to pick Zadrinus. I think the amount of uh, events that he's won and titles that he's won, he's still, for me, comes out on top. Just World's Strongest Man. No, 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 man. just, just World's Strongest Man. And I, I mean, the reason being, the level of opposition. So I, I, I think Brian and Zadrinus, in my eyes, Brian Shaw and Zadrinus Saviskas are the most impressive World's Strongest Man winners for me. You think those two in any other generation could have had eight World's Strongest Man titles, but they had to compete against each other. So that shows how impressive those two are to still win four each in such a, a strong period. And there was other great strong men in that period as well. For me, I'd still say those two are the top two guys. Andy Pittman said, the S in WSM stands for strong. So why is speed involved in any of the events? Does a runner have to do a strength test during the race? No, but you've got to look at strongman like a decathlon. It's not about being good at one thing. It's about being a strength athlete. Essentially, that's what it started off as. It was, a, it was strength athletics. So you need to have a combination of strength, speed, certain amount of endurance, and then obviously the ability to adapt to different events. If it was just solely about strength, there's so many various different tests that we could go on. How do you kind of decide who's the strongest man off one lift? You can say who's the best bench presser, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're the strongest person on the planet. Um, and likewise, you know, there's squats. There's so many various lifts. And that's what I love about strongman is in general, when you look at the whole sport, the sport as a whole, it tests so many variations. And the guys that can adapt to everything are, are the guys that, that go down as the greats. Gabrielle again, if you could pick a world's strongest man final, I assume, of your dreams, who would be the athletes and what events would you choose for them? So from any era, just pull in. What, if I was gonna pull in like different athletes yeah. to, to compete against each other? Like 10 athletes you'd love to see. What, like a like a fantasy kind of strongman yeah. contest? Yeah. So you gotta start off with Bill Kazmaier. You cannot have, you can't do a contest, you know, when you're talking about legends of the sport, you can't do a contest without Big Bill. Um, I'd have, you've got to have Jean-Paul Sigmundson, the guy's charisma, his ability across the board, just a, a legend of the sport. Um, who else do we want to see? Modern guys, I'd love to see Zadrunas in there, Brian Shaw, Half Thor. Um, five more. <laughs> Five more. This is like I I need a lot of time to kind of think yeah, of this. You, you got to have an Eddie Hall in there for the sheer brute strength events. You know you want to see records being broken, just the biggest weights being lifted. 
Then who are we going to look at? I mean, it's easy to go on, like, you know, pick maybe Magnus Ver Magnusson, a great kind of tactician, someone that just, he brings the best out of him when he was performing. You, you look at him and you just think, this guy's not going to win. And then he just knew what to do. He switched it on. He knew how to be competitive and he knew how to dig deep. He's, he's going to be a competitor. You've got to have Magnus in there. How many is that? Seven. Seven. Three more spots. <sighs> This is hard. See, it's, it's easy for me to think of the new guys that I've competed against, but I want to put some of the well, that's like older Riku guys. Well, Riku Kiri was a great strong, but if you put in Riku in, then maybe you've got to put Herrick Badenhorst in as well. Why not? And well, yeah, let's chuck him in there. <laughs> chuck him in one more. <laughs> if we're going with those two as well, just because I loved watching him at the time, let's go with. Um, oh, um, <laughs> Eddie Hobbs. No, no, no. Well, uh, Manfred, Manfred Herbal, Manfred. the man with the biggest arms in the world. He was awesome in his prime. Unfortunately, he had a terrible car accident, which kind of ended his strongman. But he was someone people spoke about as, oh, now I'm thinking of other people as well. You know, there's a Derek Poundstone you put in there. Um, maybe like a, a Gary Taylor. He was, you know, really good. It's Before just, you add anyone else, pick six events for them to do. Oh, that depends who I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, who do I want to win this contest? Uh, six kind of dream events at World's Strongest Man. Well, we've spoken about dream events for me, so let's not kind of go that route. I loved some of the traditional... I, they've done a backlift a few times, and I think that's just a cool event. And I think... It's different as well, you know, seeing something that's so big being lifted. It's about brute strength, but there's not that technical side that you have with, with squatting and deadlifting and the familiarization that you have with those type of movements. Um, so let's go with that. I really like seeing an axle um, for max overhead. I think the axle is cool. I think the challenge of cleaning the axle is impressive. So we'll go with the axle. Um, then you have to go with just an iconic type truck pull. Something like whether it's a plane pull, uh, three trucks, something ridiculous that just looks absolutely crazy. Not one truck. We need like three, four trucks, something ridiculous that are the big, huge American ones that just look cool or a train or something like that. Um, then what are we going to go for? Then we've got to have something like a moving event. So a big impression. I used to like the fridge carry or the motorbike yoke, something like that, where it just looks visually impressive. Um, you know, an event that obviously I'd like to, to have a go at. Again, this is a question I would like time to think about. There's just, you put me on the spot, but oh some of my favorite events there's so many crazy events at world's strongest man my brain's going back to some of the weirdest events you've ever seen they once did this like big ball it was like a globe like of the world and you just had to shove your opponent out i'm not saying i want that but brick pick up as well the where they brick add lift brick. yeah yeah the brick <laughs> lift um no i don't want to see those back in <laughs> um events that i really really i love i actually really love watching wait for height events um they were they were never my best events in terms of competition but i think they're cool visuals um, and varying them each time it is good or rather than doing the same kind of kegs I think back in the day you used to go from anything from like the standard weight for height they had bales of hay they had blocks of gold all sorts of different events with it was weight being thrown I really like the the awkward um, natural stone lift a um, little bit different to your traditional atlas stones and finally let's put you know, a big squat or deadlift in there. So we've got loads of bloody events, <laughs> loads of athletes. Who wins? First name in your head, who wins? You can't do this to me. Quick fire round, who won? <laughs> Who wins with all of those guys in there? Well, I, I say it all the time, I, 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 as my favorite strong man, I've got to say Zadrinus. But there's, there's so many variables. <laughs> While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.